How you doing, guys? Welcome to another episode. So, I'm gonna do a little um, change in the RAV4. I don't feel like I need to show you in detail how to remove the fog lights. So, I'm putting yellow film on it. Uh, one of the reasons is I'm gonna change this to again to white on the low beams. And you know, those uh, if you see my previous videos where I, I show the lights on the RAV4, you know, those are really, really bright. It's, the lighting output from those, I think it's LEDs on the fog lights, is amazing. They look really, really bright, white crystal. So I'm really satisfied with it. But the only thing that I um, kind of like have a little concern about is protecting the lens. So I can do clear and protect it, but I just have to go yellow, like a traditional look for any any uh, sport car. Obviously, this is a little SUV, but you get the idea so that's why i'm running yellow now and white i'm gonna change those leds you guys know if you haven't checked the video where i put those leds i'm gonna put it right here in the description and um, that's gonna be the next setup white on top yellow on the fog lights and uh, some people was asking me about the leds that i have see that leds and uh, this is not a paid uh, video pay for everything with my money but on this car they do work with the uh, daylight running lights it works with the automatic high beam system and uh, these LEDs are just okay they're really good I'm really happy with them so they do work with every function if you have a RAV4 it works with everything so the only thing that I did guys uh, kind of like I don't need to show you on detail uh, four screws on the bottom this screw is on the side right there and I have another one right here so basically I remove this and I remove the bottom one I cut the little zip tight for the cable that's the one that goes attached to the fog light and on the side you have on the fog lights two little screws that's the only thing is attached to the to the bezel of the fog light two little screws disconnect and cut the zip ties on the cable and then you can remove from the bottom you can remove the fog light so that's why we don't have fog light right there uh one of the reasons why i want to do the film on the fog lights let me show you my accord you see that crack on my fog light well that crack is due to rocks uh driving on the highway if you hit rocks they're gonna damage your your front your headlights fog lights windshield so in this case this is a new car so i want to do yellow on the bottom and obviously they're going to be protected from cracking from any stone this is going to help our lot. so let me just bring some heat to uh get the film right on the fog light once i finish i'm going to show you the end result you can see that one is ready uh this film i get it on ebay uh, I'm not even going to mention the brand, but it's really cheap. So I might have to look for something different because the little wrinkles that it has, um, is something wrong with this film. Uh, once you remove it and you try to put it back on, it creates a little bit like, uh, I don't know, it's not even a bubble. It makes a wrinkle on the adhesive. So eh, I don't recommend it. I don't even going to mention it. Uh, it's not worth it. So that one is ready. I'm gonna have to be more careful with the other one okay guys so this is almost done I just gotta put more heat and make sure the everything stay flat all the way around but this is gonna be the best way to protect your fog lights and I was thinking on black out that little chrome piece but I'm gonna leave it like that for now okay guys so everything is complete if you can see now the fog lights are going to be protected that's what i was looking for i know they're going to look amazing so let's get to it Now, 
we go back to the uh, blue it's like 60,000 K now we have 3,000 K on the fog ones you can see now really really good uh, yellow ones on top the 3,000 K they were looking really good I like them but now this is more like JDM style you guys already know blue on top yellow on the bottom and hopefully if something hit the fog lights nothing is gonna crack them so there you have it guys what you think about this uh, new setup and it's really easy to put film uh, I didn't film how to remove the fog lights just because it's not a lot to it it's a couple bolts on the bottom uh, one on the fender liner inside just remove the fender liner you don't have to remove tires or anything just go on top remove two screws and that's it that's why I didn't make a big deal about it but now if you can see wow I like it a lot you can see that what you think about it guys uh, in one of my next episodes I'm gonna be working on the Accord because I have a lot of things coming for the front end finally we're gonna change everything on the front end wait for that and after that I'm waiting on parts I'm gonna do something about these uh, turn signals to finally set up the front of the RAV4 so it's gonna be I think it's gonna be the last one that I'm gonna do wait for that I'm not gonna tell you right now what it is but probably you already know because you know what I do to my cars on the turn signals so wait for that I'm just waiting on parts and the front end is gonna be ready because pretty much LEDs inside outside everything is is done the only thing I had to do is turn signals that's it for this one guys I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching guys see you in the next one peace